It's like drilling for oil in space. Two miles down, freezing temperatures, crushing pressure, a dead zone for humans. But not robots. This is kind of the rock star of the subsea world. We make robots for use in the deep ocean. At the Schilling Robotics Test Pool in Davis, California, we saw its dexterous $4 million robot in action. Our principal target market is offshore oil and gas. These machines do the same kind of work that divers used to do, but they do it at much greater depths. What are we looking at? So you have cameras that see what you're working on. Then the manipulator arms, these two, are your hands. And this is the Titan IV. It is very dexterous. They're relatively tough for how precise they are. Then this is all controlled by a person up in a control station at the surface. And it's like a giant video game. I'm basically manipulating a $4 million piece of equipment with two fingers. Yes, you are. These robots are underwater construction workers. They build oil equipment, put wells together, construct blowout preventers, and can work 24-7. Companies like Shell and Exxon use them, and demand is growing 15% a year. It used to be optional. Now every one of these operations out there utilizes robots in order to get their work done. The robots work in a submerged network of wells. Pipes bring the oil to the surface where it's separated from water. And spending on these robot-dependent oil pumping systems will hit a record $13.9 billion this year, up 66%. Deep ocean oil reserves are some of the most lucrative in the world. At stake, more than 300 billion barrels of oil and gas reserves. And robots are the only ones who can do the job. <laughs>